Hello everyone, welcome back to Hackitech Playground. If you want to puzzle up different pieces of architecture together in one diagram, this is a great opportunity for you to enjoy Python coding as a diagram. This is, this is very great. If you are lazy, I will give you an opportunity to learn how to code your own diagram and you don't need to be an artist. Let's have a fun together. Hi everyone, if you are lazy like I am, you will like it. Diagrams are framework for diagram as a code. You just code it and then the diagram is generated for you. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. It helps you also with drawing the diagrams of AWS Azure or GCP, the major cloud providers. You can also use it for generating Alabama Cloud and similar diagrams. For running this framework, you need to have Python 3 point six or higher and you need to use a pip install diagrams and install also the graph base to running the, these diagrams no big deal it will be easy and it will help us to build together different ever processing stateful architecture advanced web services databases everything that you like generated from the code and self-documented from the code isn't that really good yes it is and we will build together first diagram together as code and i hope that you will enjoy it let's go together hello everybody welcome to epic session of building the diagram from the code i already started with some additional parts or from with some parts that are good for a start so from the diagrams, I already imported the cluster and diagram, which are the most important parts. From Compute, uh, I imported Elastic Container Services and Lambda. From Database, I imported Elastic Cache and RDS. From Network, I um, imported the ELB. From Integration, the SQS, Simple Queue Service. This one is Elastic Load Balancer. We will play with Application Load Balancing. Road 53 is named by the port 53, so DNS service. And from the storage, I imported the S3. I see here that we have two network. I will do small alignment to make the code more readable. So we have compute, database, network integration, and storage. I already started with the DNS. So when I hit run, it should work smoothly. So no big changes, but we will play with, with, with the code more. I want to create a load balancer. So I will say, okay, load balancer, ELB, and I want to have the name up load balancer. And this app load balancer will be added to my diagram. So I will run and now you see the change of the diagram. App load balancer is changed and I want to create the cluster of ECS, Elastic Container Services. So how to create the Elastic Container Services? With cluster, so I will create a cluster. I will say yes, here it is. I will name it ECS services. And with this ECS services, I will create three different service group, three different instances of uh, ECS, and I will create a list of them. So this list will be full of ECS service A and then additional ECS service B this service B is additional elastic container service oh yeah I'm really good in this and ECS service 3 so we will create three services service C so we have three services from ECS and they should appear in our diagram so I will hit run and we have new ECS services here visible in the diagram. Isn't that great? Yes, it is. So we need to co like connect these things together. We need to connect the dots. It is very good for people who are looking for GDPR documentation and they really not want to know the flow between the different aspects of your infrastructure in cloud. I will try to do some small alignments in the code to make it more readable for, at least for me. I will run it 
then it should update the code but I don't think so that it is doing what I already expected so we need to do some debugging so what's wrong with the SVC groups ECS services uh, it should be able to add the lines between the load balancer and between the, the service group. I don't know why it is not working, but I will manage the problem. So I will try to use only DNS to load balancer connectivity and it doesn't work either. So there is some problem that we need to solve. So with I, yes, I know, very simple. This is what I love on Python. Now we are there. there. <laughs> Thank you for helping me with debugging. And from the load balancer, we need to move this to the SVC group. SVC group. Then run it. And SVC groups. Run it again. And then we are here. The flow is visible. So from the DNS to load balancer, then to service group with the elastic container nodes. Very cool, very good, moving forward. Then we want to add a new queue. Queue service, and I will say, okay, I want to have new SQS. I will name it very dramatically original SQS service. And this SQS service will be added in our diagram. It should appear there. Yes, we are here, we are there. Very good. Then I really want to send the traffic uh, from the SVC groups to SQS service. So to my queue, we'll say, okay, let's send the traffic to queue. Do you see? Nice change. That's the nice diagram. I'm not the best person who can, you know, manage where the position of the different aspects should be. But this is helping me a lot. And actually the code is doing that instead of me. And I really, really love that. And then I want to add some database. And I want to add some processing part. So I will add some lambdas. Because the lambdas will process the SQS queue. Very cool. Okay, I will have three different lambdas. And I will say, okay, I want to have processing lambdas. So with cluster, I will create a new cluster with cluster. I will name it lambdas, so, again original name, with cluster of lambdas I will create or I will draw in this case three different lambdas. I will name it handlers and these handlers will be again the list of three different lambdas and it will be lambda which I will name originally one, two, three. Uh, yes, I know that this is terrible, but more lambdas you have, more original you are. And I know that everyone who loves lambda, there is not enough lambdas in for anyone. So lambda one, two, three, I uh, created three lambdas for, for us. Then when I will hit run, there should be added new lambdas. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I will call it lambda one to to make it more original lambda two and lambda three and from the lambdas i want to process the, the data and actually i want to first send the data from the queue to lambdas what i will do it will be send it to handlers okay the data are sent to handlers and the diagram is now much better and much smoother let's go forward and move and I want to create, for example, main cache D. So one of these lambdas will send the main cache D, uh, the data to main cache D. So main cache, main cache D, and elastic cache. And I will create that again, for example, score board because we are talking about the cluster group service here. We can talk about, for example, the game, you know, this is the gaming service, so it can be the scoreboard. And that's it. Basically, this should add the memcached in our diagram. Let's check it. Yes, it, it breaks our diagram a little bit, but uh, we can we can continue in playing with that. I'm sure that it will be better. 
Elastic cache, I made a typo here. You see that browse the diagram, now it's better. You know, never do the typos, it always help. So I did the memcached service. And then I want to say that from one of the handlers, for example, the first handler, the first handler, which is index zero, all the time, index is zero, you start from the zero in the databases, in all the fields, in the arrays, in the programming, always start with a zero. I want to send it to memcached. So I want to send it to memcached here, and then I'll run the code. It shouldn't change anything because I need to use this operator. And now we are sending from the first lambda to memcached. Cool. From the second lambda, I want to send the data to S3 bucket, which is the blob storage. So from the store, I will create S3 bucket, call it my my cool log bucket. And this this my cool log bucket is an S3. So I will say okay, I will create the same thing from the second handler, from the second lambda, and I will say yes, here it is. And I want to send it to S3 or for example, sorry, for store because the name of the object is store. So run it and then we added new S3 bucket. Isn't that amazing? This S3 bucket is added to our Lambda or the flow goes from the S3 bucket to Lambda. And that's cool. And we'll move again forward. I will create something for database fans. With a cluster, I will create a new cluster for databases. I will create a cluster which will be RDS. RDS is a relational database services from AWS. RDS cluster, and this RDS cluster uh, will contain the master database, which is uh, RDS, the game database, for example, because we're talking about the game, DB, and this game DB is the master one. I will create the read replica or read only replica of this RDS. So it will be again master minus, in this case it is minus, and I will create this RDS game DB read only. Yeah, so okay, game DB read only, read only, and that's it. I can create more read replicas with for example, copying this code and adding new one. So RDS, there will be two read replicas and it will be read replica two. And then I will hit it and we should see in the diagram, yes, we see the database cluster with the master and two read replicas for the relational database services. Very good, very cool. And I hope that you are enjoying that as I am enjoying it. And we want to send the data from the last Lambda to this database. So handlers and the third one will send the data in the diagram. It's not a real one. It's another infrastructure as a code. It's a diagram to our DB master. So to DB master, we will send the data. Let's click on run. And there should be the change. It's not, maybe I forget something very important. I will check what is missing. Yes, there is no third one. Don't mis <laughs> mistake the calculation. The second, second field, because we don't have any third one. There should be visible the, the third part. I will show you how the, the final diagram looks like. Just give me a few seconds. I will load the image for you. I will try to edit for you in the view and you will see how it changed and what's, what's the difference if you add this new DB cluster with two read replicas in the third Lambda. So I will add for you the image. Just give me a minute. I'm checking that for you. And this is the image. Okay, I'm loading the image for you to, see, to show you how the whole the image look like. So what we created in the code, we created the DNS service targeting to application load balancer. 
and the application load balancer to ECS, Elastic Container Services. They are sending the data to SQS service and from the SQS service you are processing that with the serverless lambdas, three different lambdas. One is sending the data to S3 scoreboard, uh, sorry, here one is sending to, to S3, the log bucket, second is sending that to scoreboard, main cache D, and the third one is sending the data to the RDS instance with two read replicas. This is a very great way how to build your diagram and you don't need to care about the composition of that. The tool will do everything for you. So diagram library, diagrams library will do everything for you. It will manage nice and smooth diagram and it will be good for making the prototype for you. If you are thinking about the prototype, you are thinking where will be the flow, this is the great mind exercise and if you like coding as I do, you will simply love it.